Uh, my very favorite memory was when I was a kid, every Friday after work, uh, my, my parents would take uh, my brother and me to the library. And it was a Friday night. Um, it, was, it was our Friday night outing. We did it every Friday night for years and years. And um, eventually, when I was about 12, we actually moved across the street from the library. So um, I spent hours in the library as a kid. Librarians would, um, they'd see me wandering the stacks in the children's section and there was one librarian in particular who would just kind of call me over and say, you know, give this one a try, give this one a try. So I always left with um, stacks of books and um, I grew up in a household that we rarely bought books. So all our books came from the library and uh, we were all readers. But uh, that one librarian in particular. My favorite librarian I would have to say right now is uh, Joanne Down Downing, who is a librarian with the Fort Bend uh, County Library System um, in my home. And um, she's been incredibly gracious and supportive of my book. I'm probably at the library at least once a week. I'm a member of um, two book discussion groups that are based at the library. And um, I still like to do research the old-fashioned way, where I actually go to a library and pull books off of a shelf. Um, so I, I'm there all the time. Um, I meet with a writing critique group every Friday and we've been meeting um, for seven years at a library in Houston and unfortunately about three months ago they cut the hours and so we can no longer meet there and um, it's, it's a far bigger issue than just our little group having a place to meet. It's the people in the libraries who come there for computer services, it's people who are unemployed who um, will sit and read the newspapers, read the magazines. I, I think of all times when the economy is tough, we need to keep our libraries open. It's, it's just crushing me to see this happen. My latest project, I just finished uh, my second novel, which is, um, we don't, uh, uh, kind of working on the title right now, but it takes place in Galveston, Texas during the historic 1900 hurricane. And uh, I've just uh, completed that. I'm working on editorial revisions right now.